another vlog. I'm so excited to start off today's vlog. It's Saturday. I'm probably gonna vlog into Monday. I really like doing the Saturday, Sunday, Monday vlogs because you get the fun things on the weekend, but also kind of a productive day on Monday. So it is Saturday. It's actually already noon. Had quite the morning already so far. Woke up, went to an F45 workout, which felt nice, and then just made myself some breakfast and got ready. I actually made a list of some things that I wanna do this weekend though, because it is gonna be a very fun spring weekend. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me. So like I mentioned, today is Saturday. And to start off this weekend, I really wanna go to the farmer's market because there is this stand that sells a lot of produce that's really good. The Dallas farmer's market is huge. So there's a lot of different things there. They have like an inside section and then they also have vendors outside, but Honestly, sometimes on Saturdays, it's a little bit overwhelming. And so I'll put the name of the place right here. It's a family that sells produce and it is so good. We got berries last time from there and they were delicious. So want to stop by there and get some fruit, possibly stop by the grocery store. I have a really fun Lulu's spring haul that I'll share with you guys because we have some new pieces from them that I'm excited to show. I also am really excited because I have a nail appointment today, which I've kept saying that I'm going to stop getting my nails done every single time. But honestly, it's just really fun and I love going to Rose Nail Couture Bar in Dallas. They're great, I see Steven. And so I'm really excited. I'm gonna do some spring nails because I just have French tips on right now. I'll show you guys that design once I'm there. And then tonight, I think we're just gonna hang out, me and Aiden, or possibly see my sister Jamie. So we'll see. Today is actually my friend Melissa's birthday. She's turning 23. And I'm really excited because tomorrow we're doing a really fun picnic and she knows we're doing something, but it's a surprise so far. So I've never done one of those kind of cuter, more trendy picnics. So I think it'll be fun. got a cake for her and a little charcuterie board. And then it's gonna be a couple of her friends and our friends. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll bring you guys along for that. And then just a normal productive Monday on Monday. So it's gonna be a good day. I am so thrilled to be partnering with Lulu's for this portion of today's video because I love Lulu's. If you guys have watched the vlogs recently, I've been sharing a lot of dresses I've been getting from them for special events, a lot of weddings we've been going to, but Lulu's has the most beautiful spring pieces, spring dresses if you're going to any festivals they have the cutest festival fashion on their website as well and I've just been loving their pieces and I'm so excited to share a few of the ones that I got to kind of refresh my wardrobe for spring I will have all these linked down below I love Lulu's because they're also relatively affordable too which is nice so it's a great way to kind of refresh a few pieces in your spring wardrobe but I want to share the pieces so the first thing I'm wearing is the dress that I'm wearing right now I think it's so sweet it's this baby doll dress that is so cute I love the pattern on it I was sharing a try on haul with Aiden when I was trying on these pieces and he was like that dress is definitely you in a dress and I agree I love it of course I'm in Texas so it's a little bit hot here so it's nice that this material is nice and light and it's also just really flouncy and girly and I've been loving this one I also have this maxi dress which maxi dresses are some of my favorites for the spring because they're just so comfortable to throw on and I don't have a lot of blue in my wardrobe so I thought that this blue pattern was so pretty it's just a blue floral again such a well-made dress the material on this is still light but it's thick where you can tell that it's well made and I love the sleeves on it I think that it's just a really beautiful spring dress I also got this sweater tank which is nice because it's cropped so you're still getting that sweater material but for spring it's really simple in the front and then in the back it has this beautiful crossover detailing I think this is a really pretty piece of style just with jeans and sneakers. You can make it casual or throw on some booties. And then this top is so fun. I have been on a pink kick lately and this might be the pinkest thing I've ever owned. It is so cute. It's almost like a light wool material. So it's not too warm for spring. So it's great. It has really cute ties on the side. And I just think that this is the most fun shirt. I love pink. I love anything that's just bright and vibrant. So, and then my last clothing article is actually this top which is beautiful i love the sleeves on this i think this with a pair of white jeans and some little heeled shoes i think would be so cute i really love when shirts have kind of like this stretchy material in the front i don't know exactly what that's called but I think that it's just really pretty, a great staple piece to have in your wardrobe. And then lastly, I just have a couple of shoes to share. The first one is so exciting. I've been seeing these cream boots being styled with dresses for the springtime everywhere. And I really wanted to grab a pair. So I got this beautiful cream pair of boots. What's really cool about these shoes is that it's actually a canvas material on the front. You guys know I'm a Texas girl, so these are a good way to be country, but also these are really practical to style too. So I think they're a great pair of shoes. And then lastly, these are just a fun pair I decided to throw in at the end. They're these 
super cute yellow heels. I know that these are pretty trendy right now, which I think it's great to get, you know, more trendy pieces off of Lulu's because they are more affordable, but they're so fun. I do not own any yellow shoes, so I thought that these would be really sweet to just throw on with dresses or like some cropped pants or something. So picked up those as well. You're definitely gonna see me in a lot of these pieces in the near future. So I'll have all these pieces linked down below and also the Lulu's website if you wanna check out what they have to offer this spring season. And also, again, if you're going to any festivals, Festivals. They have some really great stuff. Vacations, really love Lulu's a lot. Just got to the farmer's market and like I mentioned, it is crazy. I somehow got a spot. Someone was pulling out right when I was pulling into this parking garage. But all that to say, this place is always so crowded on Saturdays, especially because it's a beautiful day. But the place that I'm going to, it's called Rubio's Sweet Harvest, I believe. And yeah, they just have really great produce if you're in the Dallas area. I'm trying to do this more often, get produce here and then go to the grocery store. So, but it's not always easy. Coming here is always really crazy. It's always really busy, but I'm happy that I did it today so I will show you guys what I got when I get home but now we are going to Central Market and I wanted to say this if you have a Central Market by you they have the prettiest flowers and they'll actually wrap them up for you and they create the most beautiful bouquets I just got my sister Jamie one because she had some work wins recently so I got her one last week but I think I'm gonna make myself one today because they're just so pretty and the way they wrap them it looks like a hundred dollar bouquet but it's so much cheaper. So getting my groceries here, I normally don't come here, but I really want to get some pretty flowers. So we're gonna And I also got the prettiest bouquet. I thought this one looked very Texas. I don't even know what these little flowers are, but they're so beautiful. Some baby's breath and then some greenery. So, so cute. Again, I think Central Market's the best if you're trying to buy a bouquet for someone too. I mean, that one I just bought myself, but also wanted to mention that these are the best. These are dark chocolate coconut bars and there is a man circling my car. <laughs> these are my favorite sweet treat. I love coconut, and if you like coconut, these are the best. I've seen them quite a few different places, but mm. I'm gonna drive home, and then I think that we are gonna go ahead and take cash to the dog park, because it's beautiful, so I'll take you guys along. Back from the grocery store, I'm gonna do a really quick, I mean really quick grocery haul, because I feel like I do these all the time, but then when I don't do them, people want them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and share what we got, like I said, I normally don't go to Central Market, so I got different things. Got some of these baguette crisps to go with some cheese that we got. Tonight we're going to the Ice House and we're gonna bring some dogs. So I got a few different dog treats to bring. Got a bag of pita chips, got some lettuce. I usually just get a spring mix. And then I also picked up some chicken for a recipe, shredded cheese for a recipe. They had this pre-cut turkey. This one's maple pepper turkey, which looked good. So I picked up that. Apricot jam for a recipe. And then I also got, which I love, this Hue Simple Dark Chocolate. I always have dark chocolate before I go to bed. I love the Hue chocolate too. From the produce farmer's market, I went ahead and got some blueberries. Cause like I mentioned, their berries are amazing. And then I also got some raspberries. So I'm gonna wash those after I'm done with this and put them together. I also got a thing of cilantro. Crinkle cut chips because you just have to. Also these garlic and chive twice baked crackers. We're really in a cracker phase right now. So I also got some bananas. These are their homemade wheat tortillas. So I just picked up those cause I'm gonna make some enchiladas. These are sumo oranges. And if you guys watched my last video, I talked about how I was trying these for the first time and they're amazing. If you see sumo oranges, get them because they're delicious. Enchilada sauce for a recipe. We got some cubed cheese. I also got some avocados, which I don't know why I got them from here and not the produce place that I went to. I just was not thinking, so picked up some of those. I have been watching Kristen John's Instagram stories lately and she's been making iced matcha lattes, which I love. I've never made matcha on my own. So I got some stuff to make a matcha latte and I wanted to get an almond milk for that. I've been drinking regular milk and a lot of stuff, but when I have a lot of milk at once, I like it to be plant-based. And I've been trying to get milks that don't have seed oils in them because if you look at the ingredients on a lot of oat milks, almond milks, a lot of times they contain a ton of ingredients that just aren't great. 
this one is literally just filtered water and organic almond so and then for our picnic tomorrow i thought that these both looked really pretty it's just a lemonade and then a peach bellini just in case everyone doesn't want water i wanted to grab a couple of other things and then these kombuchas looked so good i might actually have one of these right now because this one is texas pear which looks so fun these are both i think texas brands i'm assuming Maybe not. This one is a lavender and blueberry kombucha too, which just sounds amazing. I love getting different flavors of kombucha to drink while I cook. And then the last two things, so I wanted to get some pickled onions. I've been wanting to make these, but I just have not had the time. So I just picked up those to have on our enchiladas. And then lastly, I don't really know a lot about matcha, but I know you're supposed to get really high quality matcha. I don't know if this is high quality, but this one is from the brand, The Republic of Tea, and it's just organic matcha green tea powder. So I got this and I have a whisk and a little matcha bowl already. So hopefully that'll be my next journey, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away. in the car i just actually got to my nail appointment but i got a call when i was halfway here that he's actually running a little bit late so i'm just chilling in the parking lot i was trying to think of something to do because it's 5 15 my appointment was 5 30 but now it's 6 which is totally fine but it's hard because everything around here is so far away with traffic right now because it's five o'clock so i can't really do much but i think i'm just gonna sit and chill in the car for a little bit i also went in and grabbed an iced matcha from a coffee shop nearby because it is later so matcha usually doesn't hit the same as coffee for me so i think i should be fine but for my nails right now i just have these very simple french nails which i love but i have always wanted to do these daisy nails i will insert a picture of my inspiration right here they look so cute and just so springy so i think i'm gonna get that i go to rose couture nail bar which i love and i always see steven who is great if you need a recommendation because when you actually book your appointment you can pick the nail technician that you want i think he does a great job so i would definitely recommend Here is my before and here is my after. It actually looks exactly like the photo that I showed him. It looks so good. I love it. I've always wanted to do daisies like this that were a little bit bigger than I got one time and I think it looks great. But I need to head home. We are gonna head out to dinner here. Mm -hmm. Last night was so much fun. We ended up going to the Katie Trail Ice House with my sister Jamie and her friend Nikki. And we were there so late. We were there till 10.30. So I hadn't really vlogged too much, but today is Sunday. I just got ready for church. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Today's a busy day because we're doing a lot of prep for tonight. I have a lot of errands to run, a lot of things to pick up. So it's gonna be a pretty busy day, but I'm excited that it's beautiful weather. It's the perfect picnic day weather, which is great. Because with Texas, you never really know what it's gonna be like. church was great i also picked up the charcuterie board and the cake which i'll show you guys because they're so cute and i also ran some other errands to get for this evening it's about two o'clock right now i've been running around like crazy the place that i picked up the cake from or the baker that i picked it up from it was about an hour away so i had to drive there and back which was fine it's super cute so i'll show you guys that i ran to central market and i got these really pretty flowers which I was gonna get a bouquet made, but one, they were super busy, and two, I actually wanna make one to have on the picnic table. So I'm gonna make a little bouquet out of these. I have a few vases to use, so I'll probably just use something that I have. Well, I will use something that I have because that's my only option. But I think in Central Market, they will actually create you one in a vase if you want. So you can also do that probably. It was just really crazy. 
crazy in there. So I got some tissue paper and a bag to put her gift in, which I'll show you guys when I wrap that up. I got some crackers for the charcuterie board because that is just like cheese and meat, but we actually needed crackers for it. I got a cake server because I don't have one of these and I'll show you guys the cake stand I have because it's super cute. I'm just using one that I've already had before. Here's what the cake looks like. It is so sweet. I wanted to make kind of one of those minimal cakes. I'll share a picture right here of what I showed her to make and it looks so similar. It's so cute. She loves pink and flowers. This cake literally <laughs> matches my nails, but turned out so cute. And then here's our board. I picked this up from, I'll put the name on the screen right here because I don't remember her name, but it's super cute. This is just the one for four people. So it's pretty small. I think it turned out so cute. the bouquet i think it looks really pretty this is kind of an otter vase aiden got me valentine's day flowers in here but it's kind of a hard one to place everything but i think it's really pretty and i think it'll look pretty on the table and then i also have the cake that i'm bringing we got some candles don't want to forget my lighter this is our cake stand this is actually the one that our wedding cake was on which is really sweet so we're gonna bring that and then all the other things so i think everything's packed i'm gonna go ahead and put her gift together and then for her gift i got her this hoodie which i think is so cute i found this on etsy i think it was 40 dollars on the back it says love you like a sunset and this really awesome font so she loves just like comfy and she loves pink obviously so i got her that and then i forgot i actually got her this for christmas and it never came in the mail it didn't come in the mail till a lot later so i'm just gonna throw it into her birthday gift it's one of these sunset lamps that i showed you guys they're really cool and because melissa's a photographer i feel like she could do cool photos with that so we're gonna go ahead and put this together so tired right now i don't know why and i cannot nap i don't know why my personality just does not let me nap so i'm gonna make myself a coffee and then honestly probably fold some laundry just because if i'm gonna drink coffee to get awake i might as well be productive too so something that i did too was store our cilantro in water because i heard if you have herbs they actually last more if you store them like that in water instead of just keeping them in the plastic bags that they come in Finish getting ready. You can tell we just went for a walk. Someone's very panty, but Aiden's friend ended up being in town. So he actually is grabbing dinner with him over in Fort Worth, which is quite far away from us. So I am here by myself, which is weird. I feel like I'm never really by myself in the evening time. So I don't know what to do right now. I think I'm honestly just gonna chill. Part of me wants to get work done or something, but I just don't really think that's necessary tonight. I think that I'll be able to do everything tomorrow. So I might sit down and map out my day tomorrow and then take a nice full body shower, a hot shower, get unready. Our picnic was so much fun. I will link the people that I shared earlier, like the cheese board, the cake that we got our cake from, and then the bakery we got our cake from, and then also the picnic place, because she did such a great job. It was just so nice. It was such great weather. We had nice people who offered to take photos for us. So it was a really fun fun evening and I would highly recommend doing something like that if you're looking for something to do for your birthday party or for a friend it was a ton of fun we are just gonna hang out for the night maybe watch a show I've been watching the we crash series about we work lately so I'll probably throw that on the tv and just hang out for the evening I have my salt lamp on because one of my favorite things to do is have a sunday shower with the lights off my salt lamp is just really nice i wanted to say something that i'm trying to do for my skin that is extremely hard for me is not pop my pimples which i know is kind of embarrassing and 
might not be revolutionary for a lot of people but i pick at my skin so bad and anytime i have a pimple that's like prime ready to be popped which is so gross but we'll do it a lot of us do it so i shouldn't feel that embarrassed i have to pop it and i think that's what's causing my skin to stain so much like all of these little marks on my skin they're just past stains and so something i've been trying to do instead is actually ice my skin this is something that adrian who does my waxes she told me that that's really helped her skin so i've been trying to ice my skin in the morning and the evening and help with inflammation there so that's something i just did and also another thing i started getting brazilian waxes again and i hate getting ingrowns and so i've been really good about my ingrown hair prevention routine i dry brush my brazilian area and i'm trying to also do my legs my arms now because i've heard that that helps too so i think lymphatic drainage i believe is what it's called and then i also use this oil this is just a nude oil I use this on my Brazilian area and it's done a really good job. I haven't really dealt with ingrown hairs, which before when I was going to a different waxing place, I would always get them because I was lazy and didn't do this, but I've been keeping up with this really well. So. Good morning, happy Monday. I just finished a workout. I did a really great strength arm workout from Cindy Cummings and I walked cash, but if you can tell my workout clip I was filming and then someone started to walk in and so I ran to grab my camera really fast. It's because our gym is really small and you can tell when someone's filming themselves and so I try guys, I really do, but there's always the people who are in there with me every day and I don't want them to think I'm crazy, so. But it was so good. I forever love Cindy Cummings. She's the reason why I got into strength training more and I highly recommend it. I get a lot of questions in my DMs and I don't do anything crazy either, but some people will ask me how to get started, you know, using equipment, using dumbbells, all that jazz. And Sydney Cummings is great. I did a 45 minute AMRAP workout and it was so good. It worked my shoulders, it worked my biceps, worked my triceps. So we did basically everything. I just got a really exciting package. I'm getting one more exciting package today too. I'm just home today. I have a lot of computer stuff to do. It's a really gloomy day, but it's gonna feel good to catch up on everything. This means I can officially start my sourdough starter which I've been putting off because we are actually going to Austin this next weekend. Aiden's mom is gonna come in town, so we are visiting Austin and gonna spend some time there. We're staying on the lake, so it'll be really fun to kind of celebrate Aiden's birthday, but I heard that these WEC jars are actually really great for starting your starter, but for some reason this looks huge. I was imagining a smaller size. I think I accidentally got a really big one, but maybe this will be nice if my starter just happens to thrive, which I'm not expecting. I'm expecting the first time to be a fail. I'm obviously very confused by this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. It just fell off so easily. But with that being said, I have a kit from Ballerina Farm that should hopefully make it easier, but I officially have everything. I just don't know if I should start it when we're gonna be going this weekend because you have to feed it every day. But I'm like, can I just bring it with me? But it's kind of like a plant where I think it wouldn't like to change environments. I don't know, I really am not a baker. I This is not my forte, but we're still gonna try. Hopefully it works out, but I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I also wanted to say that I have been using these caraway pans for quite a bit of time now, probably a couple months, and I love them. They have stayed so nice. I've been really careful about just taking care of them making sure to really treat them well and they are so great so i would highly recommend if you're in the market for new pans they're great they're non-stick or non-toxic and they're just incredible pans so i have a link down below i do have a link that gets you a code i haven't really talked about them that much but not sponsored or anything i just think that they're really great pans and for some reason i'm just craving a lot of eggs so i'm making three eggs this morning Here's today's very simple breakfast. We just have three fried eggs, half an avocado with balsamic, and then some of the berries I got this weekend. And something I also wanted to share is that I've been taking seed to every day. So this is a probiotic and a prebiotic. I've heard great things. And then I also take two of my ritual woman's multivitamin. So it's kind of my morning setup. It is time to start my starter. I'm like, I don't know why I'm so nervous about this right now, but I have instructions on my phone from ballerina farm so let's see how this goes i really am expecting this to fail at the start but you gotta fail to end up with some successes in the future so let's start okay there's five grams starter oh i added way too much water fail we are off to a great start my friend I didn't realize how little 25 grams of water is. I'm such an American. We never really 
measure things in grams, I don't think. Okay. See, that's 21, that was nothing. Okay, it's 26, it's okay, it's okay. You let that sit for a few minutes. We can make it warmer in here. Aiden does not like when it's warm, so he's gonna come back and be like, why is it so hot in here? But we gotta make this place 76 degrees. I'm also using plastic water because it needs to be room temperature and we only have filtered water that's cold. So I normally don't use plastic jugs, but. Okay, let's add our 20 grams of flour now. Well, it's supposed to be this thick. I feel like it's supposed to be more watery. Is that too thick? I don't know. Well, we'll see feed this in a day, so we'll see. I'm about to be at my desk for basically the entire day. I have one video I need to get done and then there's another one that I would like to finish as well just because we're going out of town and I'd rather finish all my computer stuff today and then film for the rest of the week, all that jazz. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some work done. I just popped in one of my water drops. If you guys saw, I did a sponsor with them forever ago, but it's basically a water droplet that has a lot of good things for your body in it essentially. And so I just popped one of those into my cup and I'm gonna get going. I also just threw my hair back into a braid because I do not need to do it today. There's no reason. Threw on a little bit of makeup to feel somewhat put together, but did it put in that much effort. My video I'm working on is almost done, but something that I wanna do. I never gave my dad this mug and I just started using it, but I need to get him another one. It says Papa Bear on it. So this is not a hint. I'm not giving any pregnancy <laughs> I was gonna go run across the street and grab a coffee just to kind of break up the day, but we actually have an espresso machine up on our amenity floor. So I think I'm just gonna put some of my almond milk that I got in here and then brew a couple of espresso shots up there to one, save money, but I also just don't feel like walking across and then I always get distracted. So we're just gonna do this, it'll be really quick. I've been really into espresso lately, so I've been using our machine upstairs a lot. I'm really thankful that we have it. Just finished making dinner, we made some enchiladas with some whole wheat tortillas. It was really, really good. The recipe down below, but we're actually about to go hang out with our friends tonight. We're gonna go play top golf with Melissa and Peyton. So I'm just getting ready really quick, throwing on some shorts and about to head out. wild right now I can't figure it out because I just worked out but it's the next day and I never ended off this vlog and I wanted to end it with the story time because last night was terrifying we played top golf I showed a couple of clips of that but we were on our way home and this wouldn't be a spring vlog if I didn't share what spring is actually like in Texas because there were these random storms I don't know if they're random but I had no idea they were coming they came last night and they were intense, which Texas storms are no joke. It goes zero to 100 so quick. I was actually hanging out with Melissa on her patio 
and we just all of a sudden heard the tornado warnings which often go up when they sense rotation but it doesn't mean there's actually a tornado on the ground i'm pretty sure but we were kind of freaked out by that we let it pass for about 20 minutes but melissa lives quite a bit farther north from where we live in dallas so we had to drive back home which was happened to be during the storm and we should have waited it out but it was like 10 30. you know me i like to be in bed decently early not even early these days but by 11 i like to be in bed so we were driving home and it started hailing thankfully i don't think our car has any hail damage but the rain was so intense and i just have to give a shout out to aiden because i am so bad under pressure any situations that are stressful in the moment i get so nervous and i'm just not a great person to be around i think i make the situation a lot worse a lot of the times but he was being so patient and basically everyone was driving with their hazards on and then people would randomly stop under the highway so they could avoid the hail, but it's dangerous just to kind of like casually stop off the side of the highway where people were flying. And thankfully we got home, but I was so nervous the whole time. So I wasn't vlogging that, but I'm thankful that my sweet husband has a sense of patience and a sense of not getting freaked out in stressful situations because the Lord knows that that ain't me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy Again, if you guys want to check out Lulu's, I will have them linked down below. Great spring fashion. If you're wanting to refresh a few things in your wardrobe or if you have a special occasion to attend, love Lulu. So I'll have them linked down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends. <laughs>